Hello everyone, I'm Livio with Voltara and I'm thrilled to introduce my new release in the world of ESCs, the Voltara Mini 50M. This brand new compact 20x20 ESC was specifically designed for pilots looking to maximize performance but without sacrificing space. If you are familiar with my first ESC, the 70 amp, which had 30x30 mounting pattern, you already know that Voltara is all about performance, reliability and innovation. And that's not all. Today I'm also excited to announce PCB Wire. PCB Wire is a PCB solution to be mounted on your quadcopter's arm. This accessory replaces motor wires on the arm, offering protections from prop strikes and making motor replacements quicker and easier. I'm going to walk you through everything there is to know about the new Voltara Mini 50 Amp and PCB wire. So let's dive right in and show you the new Mini 50 Amp. 20 by 20 mounting. And if I place the 70 Amp close to it, you can get an idea of the size difference. and the new little PCB wire. Okay, now let's dive in into the details. So this is Voltara Mini 50 Amp ESC. It follows the same vision I had when I made the 70 Amp and that means don't compromise on quality but focus more on using the best components available to me and innovating a bit on the PCB side of things, where a lot of magic happens with uh, Voltara ESCs. As you can see on the back side, I'm using the same thing like on the 70 amp, and that's using four shunts to measure each ESC's current, so that the code has more information to step in when it's the case. So basically you can expect the same level of quality, that you can find on the 70 amp, but just in a small factor. Now talking about some physical and electrical specifications, it has the same PCB nano coating that is used to repel any water that gets on the PCB. Size-wise, the ESC is 37 millimeters wide. If we measure from here up to here, we have 33. And if we take the wings into consideration, we have from here up to here 37. So it's a bit wider than it is uh, longer or taller, depends on how you look at it, meaning that it will be quite easy to install it in uh, almost any frame out there. From the electrical side of things, the voltage input is from 3 to 8S, the same like 70 amp. We have 60 amps limited in the code for each motor output. And from now on, the specs are identical to the 70 amp ESC. Same D-shot from 150 up to 2400 and I'm also working and will release very soon a special firmware that accepts bidirectional D-shot. It outputs telemetry like voltage, current, temperature, RPM and milliampers used. It is plug and play with KISS Ultra flight controllers, but for any other flight controllers you will need to repin the connector. So a bit of caution here, be very careful when you repin your harness and be sure you check 10 times before plugging power to the whole system. If you don't know Voltara ESCs by now, because they are two, uh, are the first in the FPV world at least that have hardware current protection from when you really need them. So if the code current protection fails, you can still have a raw hardware protection that can save the day. And we also have the software protections for current, temperature and stall protections. You have some settings that you can change on the ESC if you are using a KISS Ultra flight controller. And those settings are like current limit, temperature limit, ramp up power, voltage calibration, current calibration, slow start, slow spin up, rotation direction, which you can also do from a normal D-shot, beeper volume and beacon time. If you want to see more details regarding the settings or how to flash the ESC itself, you can go to voltararc.com and I have there a lot of documentation material that will help you find out in details things about the ESC. 
we can take a look now at both and you can notice the difference in size and mounting patterns. On the back side both of them have the shunt resistors I was talking about and both of them use the same quality of PCB so be very careful when you solder them because um, if you are used to some type of soldering iron you will struggle a bit to solder especially the LiPo wires. And for a sizing uh, reference I will place now a KISS Ultra Fly Controller Mini on top of the ESC so that you can have an idea of how it will sit in a frame. If we look here on one of my test squads you can see it's full of grass and stuff. This is how this build came out. Pretty clean and a lot of space in there. And this little guy flies amazing. The awesome testers I have involved with the Mini 50 Amp did a great job at uh, pushing it in all conceivable scenarios from this summer and we had no issues whatsoever. And usually I am very cautious to not release things that are not tested properly. And because of that I want to thank my testers a lot because without them things would take a lot longer and who knows maybe just miss some uh, some problems. And I'm sure that they will release their own videos about Voltara Mini 50 Amp ESC. Despite trying to make it as resilient as possible, one thing I cannot control is physical stresses and damages to the PCB and parts of the ESC. So please be careful when you are installing it. Use the gummies the ESC came with. Don't put too much pressure on the gummies so that you have space to move the ESC up and down when the build is finished. That's very important because all the frames flex a lot when you crash. Even though we think carbon is very stiff, it still bends and it doesn't need to bend too much. Two millimeters, three, it's more than enough at the mounting screws to produce a bad effect on the boards, especially if they are tightened too much and there is no flexibility in the installation. Because I didn't want to go into too much details on this release video, if you guys think I should do a build video with the Mini 50 Amp, leave your opinion in the comments down below and I will do just that if you guys want it. And then I will go into way more details than I, uh, I want to do now. And the last little thing I want to talk to you about is the Voltara PCB wire and as the name suggests is a PCB that will replace your motor wires on the arm so that you protect wires from prop strikes and also making motor replacements quick and easy. It will come in a set of four. You can easily break it from here and you have one individual board. I made sure to use the same high quality uh, PCB like I use on the ESCs. That means a lot of copper. This one has four layers inside and uh, gold plated covered vias so it's top notch PCB quality. Yep, so I think that's about it. You can find all the detailed informations on the voltararc.com website. Thanks for joining me for a closer look at the new Voltara Mini 50 Amp and PCB wire. If you are ready to upgrade your quad, make sure to have a look at both products in the links below. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or join Voltara RC Discord. Don't forget to like, subscribe and stay tuned for more Voltara in the future. Happy flying!